red blood vessels that you see on this model are in fact the coronary arteries. Um, if you imagine, they are actually like, like pipes that supply food, nutrients and oxygen to the heart muscle so that the heart muscle does its work of pumping um, every day to, to pump blood around the entire body. If you refer to these little models at the bottom of this heart, you will notice that this is an example of a blood vessel here, a coronary artery. So what happens over decades and years is that um, cholesterol or oil gets deposited in the blood vessels and as you can see it progresses from being normal to being com almost completely blocked or occluded by this oily deposit here or cholesterol deposit. So when this happens, this is what is called coronary artery disease. So symptoms of coronary artery disease, the most common will be that of chest pain or more accurately termed angina. Now, in, we, we, we all have experienced chest pain at some point in time in our lives and the most common cause of chest pain is actually some form of muscle pain, bone pain. But a pain coming from the coronary arteries or as a result of coronary artery disease is termed angina, that's the medical term for it. Um, it's, it has a very unique characteristic. It's actually not pain, it's actually a tightness in the chest. Um, a lot of patients describe it as a heavy elephant sitting on the chest, making it very difficult for them to breathe. Um, sometimes it's associated with cold sweats. Typically, these symptoms develop when patients are physically or emotionally in distress, um, when they lift heavy weights, when they're doing runs or, or walking up the stairs. And the moment they stop and rest, these symptoms go away after about 5 to 10 minutes. So that is what is termed angina pectoris or chest pain coming from the heart itself.